Okay, let me get my stuff out here on Anthony Campbell. Been boxing uh, 10 years experience. He's 20 years old. He's a local. He's fighting. He's <laughs> fighting from Miami, but he's yeah. from here in Covington, Tennessee, which is about an hour from here. So that's just in your action. He's got a lot of friends and family here, and he's fighting for the uh, for the opposition. For the Miami Gallows, he, he, the guy is, he says that he will be uh, spurred on by his fans in the crowd. He's got uh, 30 to 45 people here, just here to see him and support him. He started boxing. His uncle, Chris Rudd, took him to the gym because he said I was getting in trouble on the street. So that's where he went to the gym and that's where he's been ever since. Okay, Chris. Ladies and gentlemen, representing your Memphis Force, Terrell Gosha! Terrell Gosha making his way out, 23 years old, been boxing about 12 years, began boxing at 11 years old. He's the 2009 USA Boxing National Champion, trying to get Memphis another victory here. He says his strength is he can adjust. He likes to go to the body, likes to work inside and out. And uh, we shall see how he matches up. Tremendous international experience, also. Sean, he's yeah, world yeah, champion. Young man knows, knows his way around the ring. And uh, he got discovered in the 2009 Aiba World Championship in Milan. And he's fought all around the world. Tennessee in the blue you corner. Hear the family Ladies here. and gentlemen, the young man from just down the road in Covington, Campbell. Tennessee. Oh. Ladies <laughs> and gentlemen, representing the Memphis Force, fighting out of his hometown of Cleveland, Ohio, in the red curve. Please welcome Terrell Gasha. The judges, Tony Germain, Gerardo Poggi, and Ricky Webb. Uh, they'll be getting their final instructions here right now. And your Terrell, uh, you see his name is spelled G-A-U-S-H-A. And it's pronounced Gauche. There's Larry Furby, your referee. And let's see if we can keep up this pace of action yeah. we've had in the first the three okay. World Series events. That last heavyweight, and they took all the steam, the light heavyweights took the steam out of the room. So we see what these, what these middle, uh, middleweights can do. And Round tonight, uh, boy, these are they have hard act to follow because they have a blistering pace in those first two matches that we saw today. Get that jab going. Get that jab going. That's nice work from both of these fighters. The jab works. Everything else falls in place. These are middleweights. And we'll be heading toward our, our featured fighter tonight, which is Raydell Williams in the last fight. Oh, yeah. He was a lightweight. We we'll look forward to seeing him. But these guys come out. We see this a lot in the first round. As you see, uh, uh, we're scheduled for five. Once again, we'll emphasize that they come out. They try to take a little bit of time to figure out what the other guys got. But both these guys look like they're going to very stylish jabbers. I mean, that's what they've, they're going to work behind it and see what, co what comes from it. I've seen Anthony Campbell before uh, facing you right there. He is so quick with his punches. It, he gets in, he scores, and he gets out. Tie up on the inside, let the referee break you. And they're uh, asking him to stay out of the corner, Campbell. So that's nice work. Yeah, his corner him. wants him to stay out there in the middle and work outside in the middle, don't get on those ropes. So focused. Look at him. Look at his face. He just zeroed in on his opponent. Both very quick fighters. Yep. 
Looked like on paper we're going to have a great matchup. I was, yeah. I was, I was checking out. We, we might get a shot of this. Um, Campbell's shoes. His, 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 <laughs> he's got the tops rolled down on him. You ever seen that before, Sean? Yes, I have. <laughs> uh, some people it bugs them. Uh, bugs them to have it up around the calves. Around the, yeah, yeah. Something around their ankles. Watch the heads. Clash your heads. They're gonna. They can't. It's like these fighters can't help themselves. They think they're going to go out and kind of ease into this thing. And usually, with about one minute left in the first round, here we go. They have to let. It, they have to let it go. They can't stand it anymore. That's a fighter in all of us. You have to do that. But the corner of uh, Campbell does not want to get into a war with uh, Gauthier. Gauthier would love to stand toe to toe and just brawl. Larry Fair be having to break things up right there. This is a an interesting technical, matchup. Very technical match. Look at right. both of them. Very studious. Good, good combination, combination right there. The best one of the round from Campbell. Left, right, left. Now he's trying to find the range and stay out of range. Nice work from the outside. And you know what? All of a sudden, Gauthier went gets gets angry. Gauthier's got to attack at the angles. He gets down real low and tries to score. He's trying to land that big right hand is what he's trying to load yeah. up, Sean. He's trying to corner. He's trying to catch. He's going to be have, he's going to, might have some pretty. He knew that he a left hand from him. Gauthier. Yeah, good first round. Still a technical battle. There you're looking at the shoes of uh, Gaucher. And that's the way they're supposed there's to look. There's the other ones right there's, there. <laughs> there's Campbell's shoes that are rolled over. He's probably more comfortable that way. It's sure. pretty interesting. I, I can see that. You know, that's something, too, that, uh, that fighters are, are very superstitious sometimes. It may be something that he's got a superstition about having the, uh, the, the boot on his calf. The boot calf. on his calf, yeah. yeah. Maybe he feels like he can move better. He, he, sure. is, a, he is a, 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 a mover. mover, yeah. Yeah. He likes to use his speed, likes to stay out of trouble. This guy's got power, Terrell too, Gauthier. Gauthier. It's what oh, he's yeah. This guy, if he catches right. you, it's going to be a and, tough business. And that's what he's looking for. He uh, started off that round kind of slowly trying to figure out his opponent, but then he, he adjusted. OK, welcome back to Mississippi, everybody. Round two in the middleweight division. Memphis Force, Terrell Gaucher, left side of your screen. Anthony Campbell fights for Miami, although he is from about an hour away from here in Covington, Tennessee. He's got a lot of his friends and family here tonight. Good jab, good jab. Yeah, he's working that jab, Campbell. I, I like the way we watch Pat Burns work in that corner. He gets right in his fighter's face, makes his points very clear. And, 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 and knows what the game plan he's, should be. He's terrific. He doesn't overload his fighter either. He gives him one, maybe two, maybe three things to work on for a round. And he's very, very good about urging a fighter on throughout the round. And he knows boxing. He knows the sport. You know, he's had multi-world champions and uh, has been in this boxing game a long time. Another hill. We've got to break him up right there, referee. Watch the heading behind the head. Larry Farabee seems to be a very... Uh, very calm referee. She would like to see some uppercuts from both of these young fighters. Well, what were we talking to the fighters beforehand? Sean was in the both uh, locker rooms beforehand saying, you know, we need to see some body punches, guys. They always talk about it, but we, don't, we haven't seen many. We saw yeah. him out of the Hungarian fighter. That might have been a big difference in that fight. Yeah. The one he won. Well, that, that fight, he was a skilled professional amateur, that, that Hungarian fighter. Sean, he at is, the top of really the show, good. you were talking about uh, Emery Swazello. Yep. You were talking about the, the home court. It's, it, the Gallos have to come in here and they have to make a statement when they're in their backyard. Sure I mean, it, it, sometimes the crowds, uh, you don't think it could happen, but crowds and reactions from crowds do. A, judges are only human, you know? Yeah. And it affects the fighters, too. You want to have people pulling for you, you want to have people shouting your name. You know, you want to perform for them. Uh, go well, shake. I don't like go that. Shake. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't like that at all. Yeah, it's getting ugly. It's a good warning for that. <laughs> none, of, none of that shoulder stuff. Well, you know what Gaucher wants to turn this thing into. I'm sure he does. He wants to brawl. Yep. Gaucher, he likes likes to fight on the inside. He says, I'm in the ring. I'm a brawler. So I'm going to cut off the ring, and I'm going to go to the body. 
He wants to throw that big right hand. That is his intention. I can see him cocking it and loading it as we speak. If he gets an opportunity, the problem is catching Campbell. Now, Campbell does not want to be on those ropes. That's not where they want him. No, they want him out up. there. Now they're doing a the little dance in the middle of the ring. No holding, says the referee. Larry Farabee says no grabbing. Yeah, Gaucher, he tried to throw that long range right hand. Now they're going to. Now they got to get separated. Gaucher must do a better job of setting this up. Ten seconds that, round two is going to be over, and it's been a round where Gaucher just decided he wanted to try to land some big shots. We'll have to see. Well, I tell you, it would seem to me that Gaucher is having a real difficult time. There's a look at his corner uh, with Anthony Bradley. He's having a tough time reaching up and uh, grabbing Campbell. Campbell is uh, a little bit taller and he fights taller. Uh, right here, a little bit of shoulder. Watch his shoulder. A little shoulder work. No, that's, not, that's not good. Yeah, that wasn't good. And uh, Gaucher on the attack. I think he stepped on his foot there. A little bit of holding or hitting. Pat Burns. Pat's excited over there. I was listening while you were doing the replay. He, he's telling him to keep his butt off the corners and off the ropes and fight in the middle of the ring and, and do what he does best. I think he might have lost that round because he's not sticking to what they want him to do, which is to use his speed and his skills in the center of the ring. Round three scheduled for five here. Pride, who knows? Right. Could be a dead even fight. Now, now that's where they want him right there. That's where Pat yeah. went. Out, wow. See, that's where he just, oh, he just caught a left, but he was laying his. Good letting it go now, Sean. Wow. This is third round action. You know, it's been a pretty good pace through the two rounds. Now they're and, picking and up. They, they've the gone third. from 80 miles an hour to 120. Uh, <laughs> now they're, uh, they're, a little bit of a little bit of tying up. A little bit, a little bit of dancing there. You know, you come out at the first part of the round, you try to set the pace for that round. That's what they both did here. Good combination, speed they're calling for. Oh. Right hand from Gaucher to land, and now you got to get him. In. That's where Gaucher wants it. He wants to force him over those ropes, put his body on him, try to tire him out a little bit, and and, and get that end close fighting going. Now, whoops, that Whatever wasn't time. good. That's not right. All right, they didn't take a point away, but well, that wasn't very smart for Anthony to do that. Hitting behind the head. But then again, Gaucher was turned Gaucher that way. turned around. And, uh, he turned it yeah, back they, to they're, him. They're, they're both struggling here a little bit because they're tying up and they're grabbing and holding. You know, you can know. You, know, you can tell, Sean, the slicker fighter's Campbell. There's no doubt oh, sure. about that. And for Campbell, when his when his back hits those ropes, he must slide down the ropes. He's not doing that. Instead, he's tying up. And fans don't like that. You know? you got to fight from a long distance oh, to do that back up. A good Step. right hand. Campbell just landed there. Got Gaucher's attention. Nice. Now he's trying oh. to catch him on the rope. Gaucher's holding on right here because he got hurt, Sean. Good work from the angle. He got That's hurt there. calling for. But here, but here he comes boring back in. Campbell, do, do not get in the corners, coach. Got to get out of there. You know the technique. You got to turn and step out. Walk around your opponent. Get the angle on him and then unload. Good feint. Good feint from, from uh, Campbell. Anthony Campbell, is uh, he's been well-schooled. He's a slick fighter. Gaucher's a tough fighter. Yeah. Gaucher, nice, uh, nice job of cutting off the ring. That's the way to cut off the 30 ring. 30 seconds left, round number three. Gaucher cut off the ring and he didn't score. He didn't make his opponent pay for it. He allowed him to tie up. Keep those hands moving. Your opponent cannot tie you up. He can't grab a moving, moving hand. That. I like that flicking that jab, throwing the right hand, using movement. Gaucher's getting frustrated. We're in round three, 10 seconds left. Campbell's a slick fighter. He just caught a little bit of left there. But he says he's hard to hit and that's important. Sure, sure. And he fights well from the outside. Good round for Campbell here. Very good work. Well, there's Anthony Bradley. You know, 
tell his fighter, go underneath and come in with your combinations. Real fast punches. You can't stand and hit just with one shot. Although, Gaucher would love to land a big home run ball. Uh, just as they're uh, backing up, you gotta pay attention at all times. Oop, there was the back of the head. Not let's, all let's Anthony hard. Campbell's fault. No. Uh, it's hard to not, resist, though, when you're yeah. in fight mode and the guy turns his back on and, you. And not all his fault. They're, he's so fast, he gets around behind his opponent before, before uh, you know, he shake a fist at him. Pat Burns getting a good workout in this uh, <laughs> yeah. this boxing match, too. I think he's broken as well. It's gotta be a he, good needs a, he needs a corner man for him. <laughs> all right, we go. Go to round four now. You know, it's got to be a good feeling for Burns because, because the coach, because his fighter did exactly before that round three what he told him to do. You know, he has control of these fighters and he takes control of them and he, he regards them like as a son or as a fi father figure. You know, they, they they think more of him than just a coach. Whoa, 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 no. Uh-oh. A little bit of the frustration is just, he just so fired up about this. He just Anthony doesn't, like, he doesn't just, like the tying up is what he's getting frustrated about. The local fans here for the, for the Miami fighter are letting them know about it, too. He stays out there at distance like that. See, he's, he's got a lot of skills, Sean. Yeah. He stays he out fight, at the he distance. Fights well, he fights well from the outside. Also, he does a nice thing. He takes a half step back. Anthony Campbell resets and then he unloads like right there. You allow your opponent to walk into your punches, adding a little bit more nice force, a little right more there. power to it. That was a nice. Now look at the move that he's got yeah. here in round four. He's good. He's good. You know, it's got to be good boxer. When you're fighting a guy like this, it gets frustrating for for, for Gallos. I tell you right now. Oh, of course it does. Because he yeah, wants yeah. to go in there and cut off the ring. And he wants to throw big shots and he can't catch him. There's a little faint right there from Anthony. The little move that you like so much. I like that. I like that. Thank your opponent out of position and then you score. <laughs> jab, jab, jab. When you don't know what to do, jab. Good uppercut. Nice left hook right there, too. Campbell. Anthony Campbell. Campbell is really showing his ring generalship in this fight. Campbell has it all. Wow, nice again. You know, you know Fort, he said, Fort, Gaucher, he's not moving in enough. He's just at the wrong distance. Right? He's just following That's around Campbell. Say, if you would move in or get way away from Campbell, just walk away from Campbell. You're staying at the wrong space. You just, not, he just ran himself into the ropes right there, Sean. Right, right in the wrong, the wrong distance. He's got to cut the distance. The yeah, he's, he's right. He's, he's, he's in tween land right and there. You got to score. You got to score. 39 seconds left. Round number four. These fights are scheduled for five rounds. I'll say something. When you watch the World Series of Boxing, you see action. What a pace. What a pace, all three of the fights that we've seen tonight. Big bolo uppercut there. Now, Campbell's getting more and more confident as it goes along because this guy can't catch him. Well, he's, he's so fast, number one. He, he's hit so hard, number two. And he's got a fighter who just walks into everything that he's Ten doing. Ten seconds left, round number four. Nice. Oh, they will really land right here. Big punches landing. As they let their hands go here in the final seconds of round four, Gaucher trying to impose his will. What's this? See the bottom of Watch my foot. Down here. Okay, well, don't, don't step on it. Well, no, no, that's what helps. <laughs> that's what fixes it. Wow, what a round. <laughs> See? I think I'll tell you what. Right. <laughs> Campbell showed a lot of ability in that round. Punches, oh, even did a bowl, had a bolo punch at one point. Yeah, he had that big but, roundhouse bolo punch. Right. Let's take a look, Sean. Look at these punches. Good flurries. And just at the wrong distance is Gaucher. Trying to, still trying to land that big, one big home run ball. Terrell Gaucher needs a big shot. He needs to pull a rabbit out of the hat. There he is with it. And 
And once again, we go the distance here in World Series Boxing. You're watching action from South Haven, Mississippi, the middleweight division. It, it, I have no idea. It depends on how they score. They're going to score style points for Campbell, who's done a good job defensively and, and mounting the offense he needs to, or Gaucher, who's been um, just trying to cut off the ring. But as Sean pointed out, he's been at the wrong distance most of the time and hasn't been able to land that big one that he wants to land. Yeah, Gaucher is just uh, behind the curve on this, this fight. It has been all Anthony Campbell on my card. Campbell has scored well. He's showcased his... His wares. He's, right. giving him, he's giving him bad angles to hit. That was a right yeah. hand that finally got in. Now the Memphis fans really like that. They're going to wrestle in the middle of the ring. That, I think that punch landed pretty hard on Campbell. Another rabbit punch right there in the back. Now Gauthier's doing everything he can, Sean. But there, that right hand hurt. I think Campbell's a little bit hurt. Desperation. He is a fighter with desperation. He knows he needs a big, a big round. Guys. Gauthier. Oh, that, point that's point big. From him. that could cost him the match. They're taking a point away from Campbell for holding. And that could cost him this event. You've only got five rounds. You lose a you lose a point like that. That's big. Now I gotta give Gauthier credit here. He has gone out there with bad intentions in this fifth round, and he's not gonna let Campbell run from him. This Here is he the one. A big right hand. Big right hand. But Gauthier might have started started doing this in the third round instead of the fifth round, but whatever, it's working for him now. He was looking for one opportunity, one point that Campbell would let down, he's found it. Gauthier is going ahead. Okay, Campbell has lost a point in this round, and he's also not mounting any offense. He's hurt. You can tell he's hurt. He's just trying to stand up in the vertical position for the final minute and a half. Looking for the final bow. His fans are here, too. They're here for him. Terrell Gauthier in Memphis trying to get his team. Another victory. Here we go again. Is he going to take another point away? All right, he's already lost he's another point. Two points. Campbell wow. just lost his fight. Two points. That could cost him. Wow. Long minute left. It's at least a 10 8 round now, Sean. That is so detrimental in these five round fights. It could be a 10 7 round. He lost two points. If Gauthier wins the round, it's 10 sure. 7. There's no way in a five round fight well, that Campbell can get this decision. I'm not sure how you score this fight, this round for Campbell in this. I got to give this round two to points Gauthier. Away, and two point points. That's 10 7. And now we, it's important people know we're fighting under the 10 point must system. Campbell has not gotten, he's gotten hit a couple of times. Now you talked about fight, fight, well, there's a right hand he got in right there. You talked about closing the distance. That's what Gauthier did. He yeah. closed the distance. This round he did. He looked yeah. for that window of opportunity which happened in this the fifth and final round. And he turned it completely around. And I just don't see any way that Campbell's going to have enough points now in a five-round fight. What a great fifth round. Wow. Wow, these are middleweights, and that was a terrific matchup. That was fun. The early rounds, I think, went to Campbell. Then in that fifth round, Gaucher went after him. And remember, this is the uh, this is the home palace here in South Haven, Mississippi, for the Memphis team. Sean will be making his way for reaction. It's going to be quite a reaction. That was a great matchup, Styles. If you take a look at some of the replays now, there's a right hand. I knew, see Campbell immediately, his knees buckled right there. That's what set the tone in this round. Now you see Campbell, I mean, he was almost out, holding on for dear life. Here we go again, the counters right there, and then Gauthier gets in again and lands another right hand on the chin. And when Campbell got caught by those heavy hands of Gauthier, it was some serious business, I want you to know. Closing it out, there's a right hand in the corner. Huge round for Gauthier, twice. Penalized was Campbell of the Miami Gallos. Now they're going to touch gloves and say, good fight. No, they didn't. <laughs> anyway, as we await the decision, Chuck Roberts will do it. And I'll stand by for Sean. That's just a typical example right there of what you see in the World Series of Boxing. Great stylish matchup. Gauthier coming on. I was going to try to give you some scoring. 
because two points taken away. Gauthier wins the round anyway. Then he has two points given to him. So it goes from 10-9, 10-8, 10-7. And he, he, the only way I think that Campbell has a chance is if he swept the first four rounds, but I don't think that happened on these cards. But I'll get the numbers when I hear the referee's final uh, decision. I mean, the judge's final decision as to how they added it up. Now, they're probably taking a little more time to add it up because of that last round. How do you add it up? Well, if, if, if Campbell had gone ahead and won the round 10-9 and, 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 and was, was penalized, it wouldn't be as bad. But he didn't win that round. So you can give him a 9-9 if you take the 10 point off the top of the winner. That's how that works. It's, I think we're ready. Dr. Roberts ready now. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the judges' scores for bout number three. Judge number one, 49, 44. Judge number two, 47, 45. Judge number three, 46, 46. In a split decision, the winner from Memphis scores to Terrell Gosher gets it. You look at the judges there. 49-44, Judge 1 really had him blowing him out. There's the Judge 3 had it dead even. Majority decision goes to Terrell Gosher, who lost, as Sean pointed out. We felt like he was losing those early rounds until he figured it out in the fifth. And we'll go to Sean right now. Oh, 